This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterstash.com 10-part series on Quicken Online. In this segment, we're going to look at the Trends tab. This is a very cool tab because it gives you a graphical representation of your spending, your income, your savings. It shows it to you over a period of time so that you get a real feel for it. So we'll look at spending for a one-month period. You see here, it breaks it down in several different ways. It shows you over here. If you highlight the pie, you see that business was 45%, bank was 5%, loan was 8%, and household was 42%. It shows you your income, your total spending, your bottom line, and your average spending. So it shows here that I'm over. We can go to three months, and that changes it some. Go to six months, changes it still more. The thing is here is where your categories come in under the transactions tab. Because if you have more of these filled out, you get a more accurate graph and a more accurate representation of your spending. So you see here it says eight uncategorized transactions that need attention. So you can click here, say categorize. It lists the ones that aren't categorized yet. We can go here. We'll say household. This one is business. This one is household. That's enough for that. We'll go back to trends. So the graph is filled out a little bit more because we filled out some more of the categories. So the categories can't be emphasized enough. To get a real picture of your trends, you need to utilize the categories. You can click here and see income. See here and click savings. Whoops, no saving transaction put in. That's because there's no savings account listed here. So these are your trends, an extremely handy way to see exactly what's going on with your finances, your spending, your income, and your savings. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series, and be sure to watch all 10 parts.